are here in the home of Nell Pierce. And let's go interrupt her. Oh, oh she's surprised to see oh, me. Oh, oh, oh no. no. Who are you in my house? Oh, oh, that's what we said. I'm Mel Pierce. I just spat everywhere, sorry. Um, uh, uh, um, welcome. Sorry about the delay and the technical difficulties. And the paintbrushes flying everywhere. Welcome, everybody. This is my workspace. A lot of you probably don't know who I am. That's because... I've only got, uh, I've already finished my first um, illustration uh, for a book recently, and we'll talk more about that later. This is Ta -da. the one that I've just done. Hot off the press. Hot off the press. Okay, so it's we'll talk about that. It's not even in stores quite yet. We'll talk about that more in about a little that later. bit. Anyway, so Why don't you do the what stuff you... we missed. Well, I, we were mute, which was really embarrassing. I'm so sorry, that was my uh, fault. I was talking about this. We're getting lots of love, okay. though, so that's So good. this is... I was going back to this. This is very dear to our hearts. This is by a Japanese artist and he's depicted these two people here who want to be uh, Japanese comic writers called manga and they're imagining themselves. Oh, look, we're so... When we're successful. Yeah, when we're successful. Look how... Oh, look, we're just sitting around with our moustaches. We are number one. We are number one. But in real life, that's what's happening behind the scenes. They're going, quick, get it done! And they're, they're really tired and... Uh, yeah, they're just scrambling away behind the scenes. So that's kind of the life of me <laughs> and other struggling artists and writers who, um, yeah, we don't swan around all day, uh, you know, wondering, hmm, what shall I draw? What shall I write? A lot of the time we're working during the day and then in our spare moments we're scrambling. Sweat, blood and tears. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's me, um, in a nutshell. So thanks for coming. Okay, okay. bye. Oh, oh, oh no, okay. okay. No, no, that's not the end. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, well, why don't you show us a little um, bit of your space yeah, here? It's so like very colourful. So I'm blessed to have this space in our home study. <laughs> um, so this is just a bunch of stuff. Oh, this is some of my work that I did in the last year or so. So lots of different styles I do. Uh, you can kind of see it in the new book. Um, but I also like to work with a lot of ink as well, so there's some there. Uh, they're old drawings, I think. So uh, that's, if you have any the, questions... Are these ink ones? These ones? Oh yeah, those were. But I'll, I'll talk more about that later, I guess. Um, okay, just come over here a little Aww. bit. Aww. A little bit over Aww. here. There's so much to look at. <laughs> um, yeah. Whoa, who's that? Oh, that was one of the early drawings for the book. Oh, <laughs> could have taken um, a scary we turn. We that, yeah. So I'll talk more about that. Oh, I also like to work with a lot of ink, which I didn't get to use for this latest book, but I'm hoping to use for the next thing I do um, because I love using ink um, and a lot of it's influenced by um, my love for... Japanese art and yeah anyway so let's just move away from that now okay oh there's two two bikes oh, that's that you know, that in a ink portal as well. oh very nice <laughs> oh, um, who did that oh that's by my nephew that's by my nephew Malachi if he's I don't think he's watching but he hi Malachi watch that he's drawn me and him crossing the bridge oh, um, he over even... to Optus Stadium oh and there's me with my Bows and my flowers in my hair. Because you always See? wear bows and flowers. Thank you, Malachi. That's beautiful. Okay. There's so, a red man. A <laughs> red man. He, he, that's what I did, like, like yeah, in art school days. So that was a long time yeah. ago. And, yeah, if anyway. anyone does have any questions for Mel, yeah, just let me know and I'll try and read them out. I can't see what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, uh, if I'm making you sick, please, yeah. I'm so sorry. Sorry about the audio before So what are all these? These look really exciting, like lollies. They're Copic markers, so I haven't used them for... I haven't actually sat down to use them for a long time, but they're alcohol-based markers, so you can get different kinds of markers. The ones that you generally use at school are a little different to these ones. These blend really nicely. Um, you might yeah. Maybe you can show us a bit later. Yeah, maybe a bit later. Okay. So, so anyway, so this is where, that's where I have all my, my, my inks and um, markers and more inks. <laughs> and then in here is my supply cupboard. So it's a little Whoa. bit cramped. So 
I have a lot of I supplies, know. but not and a lot of time to use them. It <laughs> looks like just organized yeah, cramped, chaos in a beautiful packed, way. Lovely. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay. But do I get time to use it? No. No, well, I'm hoping too soon. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, so uh, what, what should I show next? Well, we can, um, um, yeah, what well, work, but you go and I'll follow okay. you. Cause... Well, this is my paper supply. <laughs> you never have too much paper. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Have and you... these are all, oh, now these are, I used, I like to do a lot of sketching. Yeah, so why don't you bring some all, of those out to the desk? Um, my moleskin diaries over many, many years. Uh, let's have a look at some. Do you um, always so, keep one with you? Usually. I haven't, I've been pretty slack lately and I haven't done anything. So this is my very first one back in 2008. Um, back when I found out what they were. Hang on, let me and have a look at those. Those fish are beautiful. Yeah, so this is a long time oh, ago. Wow. So I had a very different kind of style. I was using oh, some, lots of fish attached to things. It's very strange. Oh, um. Um, yeah. So yeah. O'Malley so very... the O'Malley the Alley Cat. Do you mean the book she just got published, or do you mean these moleskin diaries? That's all right. It's okay. Yeah, there um, was a question. That's all. What was all. the question? What medium do you use for the book? Oh, it's probably for this. Uh, well, I I for this book. Uh, it's okay. So we'll talk about this book now a and, little bit. It's called. And then you can go back to the diaries. No, never. And it's by Libby Haythorn and her daughter, Lisa Haythorn Jarman. And it's coming out on the 28th of April. So next week it Ooh. gets released in stores officially. You can buy it online. You can pre-order it now. Um, okay, so it's is. a... Oh, oh. There was a child, the sweetest ever, until she learned these words. No, never. But what happens when the tables are turned? turned. Ooh. So, yeah, it's about a naughty little girl who starts saying no, never to everything her parents tell her to do. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just show a little bit. Hang on, I'll just come around so um, I'm not so far oh, away okay. from you. So, yeah, so this is the work I've done. So this is just a little sneak preview. So I'm going to talk about a bit about this page here because this is one I can kind of show different steps of how it got put together. Um, so for this book, um, the easiest thing to do was to draw in pencil. Um, so this is actually, oh, so this is my, my big slab of drawings that I did for this book. And a lot of them are separate drawings. I'll show you in a minute. So, yeah, so this was when I was oh, wow. trying to work out what Georgie, the main character, was going to look like. I always, always kind of had the same kind of vision in my head of what she would look like. She didn't really change. Uh, there was a little bit of variation, but not really much. Now, I just <laughs> want to say, I can see, like, I guess, uh, like, you can see over the years you've got, you've got quite a few different styles going, but there's one that you've been using in particular for, I guess, some of, like, this kind of stuff and then over here as well and it's kind of like a would you call it childlike I guess or, so. um, not that one so much oh. I don't think but like yeah, yeah. For, for no never um it's kind of a looser kind of thing isn't it it's not yeah, like it's a... very scribbly I mean that kind of started in art school but um it, it's yeah this one I think is a, a lot less scribbly than I used to do because I was trying to make it I was trying really hard to do what I thought I needed to do as my first thing but I've learned a lot of things along the way so yeah I think I'm gonna change up a bit next time uh this was an early drawing of <laughs> the main character who who now looks like this okay let's yeah just put them okay. side by side for a second so she looks a bit scary doesn't it a bit too scary yeah um it's that a was an bit, experiment it's a little <laughs> bit horrible Harriet yeah so I didn't use that um so anyway, she didn't really stay like that for long. She kind of went back to being like this. And so... Someone says Luffy style. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the first kind of sketches I did. Um, it, it kind of didn't really change from the main thing. Just stay on this one yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, so it was the idea that the mum's putting away the toys saying, come on, I know, 
I know where to put the toys, you know, let's help. And she's saying, no, never. Um, so that was kind of that sketch I did. Oh, first I'll show you this. This is the the very rough. So this is called a, what's it called? A, um, a dummy. Oh, dummy, yeah. So this was the the um the storyboard that i kind of did after well mm. this is the tidy storyboard so it's not the first one i did so that was the so um, it's history. like a plan right yeah so this is the plan of kind of what to do and then once i get the okay from the publisher then i start doing the good one okay so this is once i figured out what i was doing with her like you can see from this original drawing it kind of spread across the page she's actually saying no now um, there's the words I just stuck in there. There's toys all over the floor. Um, and it's very rough. Yeah, but it's very similar to my original idea anyway. Mm. Um, so then from there, oh, this was me just trying to figure out exactly what she'd look like. And that was once I figured out her style, which is, I think I even used that picture in the book. Yeah. Um, and and then, so this is pencil, is it? That was pencil. This is just a printout, but. And then I was trying all different colours, but I didn't really go with any of these. It was just for fun. <laughs> um, oops, paper on the floor. So this is um, a drawing. This is, I think it's the actual drawing parts of it. But you can tell the mum has got no arms. And there's toys all here. That doesn't look like the last picture, does and it? And there's lots of eyes all over lots the floor. Lots of eyes. That's um, a bit scary. There's a loose foot somewhere and a, and a slipper that has no foot in it. You can see there's a tiny little tick there. So that means I like that foot. I'm going to use that. So for <laughs> this one, I took a lot of pictures. And on the computer, I, I, once I'd drawn them on this paper, um, and I said, okay, I like this bit. I like this bit. I scan them in um, on my scanner here, kindly given to me by Cindy Lane. If you're watching Cindy, hello. Thank you. It's been a lifesaver. Um, and then it goes into my computer, and so uh, that's what looked looked like when I scanned it in, and I'd placed some of the things in the places that I wanted them. So there's the mum there; she's got no face, but she's got arms now. So I've I've digitally put them in place. Oh, Cindy sent you a kiss. Love you, Cindy. Okay, and then from there, whoops, that's not right. Hang on. You've got it about changed 15 minutes. even more. So now that's when I put even more bits and pieces in that I'd drawn. Now Georgie's there. This is looking more like the original, the, the end spread, isn't it? So mm. there's no words, but there's lots of things in place. This is pretty much the finished drawing before I started doing colouring, which was all on the computer. <laughs> You've got drawings in the drawing. <laughs> yeah. So I got to put a little bit of like rough drawings in there too. That's really cool. Um... Yeah, and then from there I went colouring, which I, I don't really have time to show all the colouring business, but it was all on the computer because um, I'm trying to save time. I would have liked to have done it by hand. Um, hopefully the next book I do. You I'll had a fairly it. tight deadline for this it was book. A, it was pretty tight, and it was my first book, yeah. so I was learning lots of things along the way. Mm. Um, so yeah, and so from that black and white, look how it turned out. That's so cool. And so the, the designers put the, um, the words in and picked a font that looks kind of suitable. So yeah, um, oh, there's more drawings here that show the, I'll show, just show you quickly. Um, Rebecca so, yeah. Higgy, author, has said hello, hello with, a, Beck, with love Beck. heart eyes. Hi, Beck. And Sam's saying, awesome, Mel. <laughs> I'm just um, telling you so, so you know there's people here. So another scene I just showed quickly on um. My Instagram Can showing... Can you tilt it a little bit? It's a bit shiny. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Yeah, the paper's a bit oh. shiny. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Oh. yeah, so here's the... You just have to buy the book to, buy get, the book. to get the yeah. easier-to-see version. Um, <laughs> and here's... Yeah, so there's the rough drawings there. So you can also see... Also sitting up in bed. Yeah. So lots of loose um, lions everywhere. The yeah. dad's got her body. What are the lions for? The lions were on her bedspread. See? And also... On the end papers, so the end ah, papers are the, the okay. bits. So at the start of the book, they're all scared because she's always angry and saying no, never. And then at the end of the book, they change Ooh. because something, something happens in the book. Oh, no spoilers! 
and they get happy. Oh! See that? That's lovely. So yeah, these are all the um, lions and duckies. Lots of lions and duckies, and they all go in and then I put them together. Um, oh, oh, that face looks like how, how you felt sometimes. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, it's all kind of been the same all along. Now this is the kind of style that I want Getting to Getting love for, for the lions. Oh, thank you. Um, this is the kind of style I want to explore for the next thing because this is more what I'm more comfortable with inks and things. Um, anyway, so that's kind of the what I wanted to cover with that. I'm sorry, you didn't get to show much of your mole skins, but were you no. hoping to, or do you want to just? Because oh, I mean, we do want to get you drawing. This is my latest one, so it's just. Well, this has mainly just got drawings from when I'm sitting in church. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's all oh, that sum from Stephen Michael King. He signed my book. Oh, beautiful. So, um, lots of backs of people's heads. So it's just, mm. this has just become, yeah, lots of drawing or out and about. Um, oh, that's the earliest one. Don't show that one. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the one before it. So just like, this is uh, watercolour. It's a graphite pencil, just experimenting. And really nice textures. Yeah, just lots of people's backs of people's heads. Oh, this was on a, a drawing crawl thing through the city with um, Ashka. Um, she hosted that. Yeah, just lots of. Um... Whoa. Oh, yeah, and then you get the occasional color. So I have lots of different kind of styles. That I didn't really get to explore with the book, but that's what it's for. Hopefully, I'll get to make some more. So this is the kind of style I really love doing a lot more of. It's kind of more loose there's and a butt um, there. There's, don't, don't look at the butt. <laughs> okay. It says don't insert a butt. Okay. But there's a butt. Um, yeah. So lots of Ooh. different. Oh, there's. Oh, who's that? I wonder. I don't know. Someone weird. Um, oh, these are drawings from my niece. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so lots of... Oh, that's from my nephew. Um, yeah, so a lot of... Most of the stuff's from, from life, just drawing. But this is the kind of stuff I love doing more, so... Mm. Like, um... Yeah. Girl on the train. My mum. Nice feet. Lots of notes. Just testing okay. out brushes. Cool. So it's a good thing. I really recommend having a book like this to carry around and don't keep it precious. Don't don't keep it's so easy. I think okay, this book here. This is one I did years and years ago, but you can see oh 2013, okay? Mm. But I was so scared about doing anything to the beautiful book that I didn't finish it. Mm, and then it's a dead book. And then I've... Oh, that's a stamp. That's a... Look at all these pages I didn't use. And I can't really go back to using it because I just want to move on. So mm. don't be afraid to Good advice. mess up the book. Even yeah. though it's such a lovely book. It's leather. You know, these are moleskins. So they may be a little bit of outside of... Um, if you're a kid, you know, you might not get Ask, one of these. Get one for your birthday, maybe. Well, I mean, you don't have to use these books. It's just what I like to use. You can just use regular books like, um, what have I got? This one. Just even an exercise book. These are from B, uh, Big W. They're very, very cheap. And you can just, I was doing drawings of my dog sleeping. There's not much in here. Yeah, there's not much in that one. But the point is to keep keep a book, right? Keep a book with you. Yeah. How much time have we got? Left? Um, we've, we've got about... I think because we started a bit late, maybe they'll let us have 10 minutes. Okay. So maybe just if we get you drawing. Right. Oh, this is from Mark Greenwood because he was trying to encourage me. And I've oh. had it for years just hanging from my thing. So just wanted to show you, Mark, I've still got it. Because <laughs> he said I was a winner and it was very sweet. Oh. He's been encouraging me since day one. So yeah. Thanks, Mark. Um, I'm just gonna pick oh. up some paper you dropped. Okay. Oh, you don't okay. <laughs> so, um, um, so, oh, the questions. We had quickly. some questions. I'll answer the questions. Hang on, I'll get those from over here. Oh no, I remember. Um, so the first question, because paper bird. Oh, good, it is you, twenty-four. Why don't you get your um, drawing stuff out, okay. and I'll ask sure. you some questions while you do that. Um, oh, um, M and M's or Skittles? 
M&M's definitely, I don't like Skittles because they've got fruit in them and I don't, don't like combining um, chocolate and fruit. Well, Skittles don't have chocolate, so. Don't they? No, they're, yes, just, they do. they're just fruit flavoured. Well, there you go. I've never eaten them, so I got <laughs> scared and left. Um. <laughs> okay, um, the next Let's question was paper. night owl or early bird? Neither, neither, because I kind of, I, I kind of fall asleep all the time at the moment. It's not that great, so I don't really do well. I guess I'm a night owl at the moment. I'm not an yeah. early bird, definitely not an early bird. Okay, and okay. would you prefer to fly or breathe underwater? Fly. Yeah. Definitely yeah. fly. I can see you as a flyer. This. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's very good. Uh, Treehouse or cushion fort? Treehouse. Okay. Yeah, definitely treehouse because I love being above buildings and seeing trees and mm. sky and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. And, cushion fort's lovely though, but. And then the last question was what's your favourite bird? If you're an illustrator, please draw us one. Well, I love. Galahs. I love galahs so you can... much, but I'm not going to draw a galah. Okay. I don't know how to draw a galah off the top of my head properly. So I'm just going to do... I don't think I should use this. What about your moleskin? <laughs> I'll just... Okay. Um, I'm just going to draw a, a, just a, a reg... I, I don't know. I'm should just going to make be... it up as I go. I'll be here. I'm going to make it up as I go. Okay. Um, so it's a bird. And we probably got a. Oh, my watch says so about six. Is, I hope that's correct. Yeah, six minutes. This is a um, ink brush that I like to use because it has the ink inside it, and a lot of the time, oh, maybe I'll get some water. So you won't find these these um techniques in the book I just did because that's pencil based and um. Maybe an upcoming book. Yeah. This is a water brush that's just got little water. You can get these very cheap at like Riot and things like that. Um, so it can be really cool and it can spread the ink a bit. Do you want me to be I don't know what kind it, of maybe. There we go. I don't know what kind of bird this is. That's okay. It's got a beak it's so like you a, know it's I a bird. Know. Or it so could be a turtle. I, I really want to do more ink stuff and I like but it still get it still stays pretty pretty um rough. And you can get um a thick and a thin line on there depending yeah. on what you push on the paper, right? Sam says Olive thinks it's a cheeky bird. It is a cheeky bird. It, I think he's a little bit of a moody bird. A bit like my dog. My dog is a is a dingo cross, and she's very moody. Moody. She's very Wind. sullen, and and she kind of we call her sad dog. She looks very sad all of the time, even when she's happy. I uh, don't know what it is. I'm gonna yeah. just give it some. Mm. So I try and keep it very loose, but then once I've done the big line. Yeah, I'd love to do a book like this. Maybe you should. Yeah, well, I will, but I'm just, I, I don't have a, a story. I want a good story. I don't know, it's some I'm kind of it. like... And then you, you go in, because the, the, um, the point is so thin, so you can do really thick lines like this. And then you can go really thin with the... Oh, no. Mm. It's nice. <laughs> I don't know what I'm he's getting doing. Getting love hearts. Oh, thanks for the love. Sam says this book bird looks like it might have a good story. Yeah, thank you. I I, I don't know. I I don't have any stories in my head. That's what I'm currently struggling with. I don't have any ideas. I can do lots of single pictures by themselves, but I need to come up with a, something that something that I really want to do in a story. I don't know yet. But I hope I'm filming this okay. I'm trying I to hope so. show you doing it as well. Just maybe just stay in one spot oh, sorry. for a little bit more 
and then, about that. And then is that okay? I don't know. I don't know how it's coming across, like how if it's pixelated or whatever. Um, so for a okay, so he's an ink bird, and then take a bit of the ink and give him a shadow. Don't know, but I don't really work like this a lot. Usually, I I don't like to spend a bit more time with it. Oh no, I, f I changed it. Oh no, his eyes too big now. It's all right. Well, now he's kind of more. Oh, um, Beck Newman says not pixelated. It's great. Oh, cool. Awesome. Thank you, Beck. Thanks everyone for watching. Yeah, you guys. I uh, didn't expect anyone to be watching because I gave such late notice. So <laughs> thank you. I'll give him a little thing. Whoops. Oh, I got a compliment. Uh, a bad compliment? news cat says it looks great and good camera work, Erin. <laughs> <laughs> Little. I don't know. I don't know what kind of bird he is. He looks like he has hair. I like to do hair. I'm gonna give him hair, even though birds don't have hair. Are they they're like wispy. They can have hair if you want them to have wispy, hair. F wispy feathers. Okay. So very light. We're going to wrap this up shortly. Does anyone have like a quick, uh, cheeky question for Mel while she's just hairing this bird? <laughs> I'm giving him an eyebrow. <laughs> Cindy said, or ladies. Did I say guys? I just mean everybody. Just It's just a term for everyone. Everyone's loving everyone. the bird. <clears throat> oh, that questions? eyebrow. Yes. yes. Fabulous. Oh, wow. Okay. Fabulous. Oh, I don't know if I've got time. Um, that's okay. You just have to do um, a video on your channel sometime. I should, yeah. I don't really... Oh, this isn't the one I want to use. Okay. We probably have I to... I wanted to show my my ink nibs, but I, I ran out of time, so... Maybe I'll do that some other time. Anyway, so here's an angry bird. He's not an angry bird! No, 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 TM! No, we don't, we don't say angry bird. We say moody... Moody bird. Moody bird. He's a mo <laughs> moody bird. He's not an angry bird. What am I? I'm not. I'm not breaching copyright. Well, he doesn't. No, he, he's fine. I think he's your own creation. Um, so yeah, we might have to oh, leave it there. Yep. Um, so, so if you're interested in what I've shown you, thank you for for joining me. Oh. No, never. And it, it will be available out. very soon. In all good bookstores. Order now. That's our little promo. And thank you for having us, Paper Bird. Thank you Thanks, for Paper everybody Bird who came everyone. to watch. Thank you. And, and if you've got any questions for Mel, perhaps you can um, send them to Paper Bird or you can look at her artist page yes. and she'll be happy to I'm answer. I'm linked in the um, on Paper Bird's post anyway, so you can follow that if you want to see more on my account. Hopefully, I'll post a lot more I've just haven't yeah I've been terrible at posting stuff but that ends now <laughs> okay thank you bye